Hey, what up, folks? This is my 10.22 patch rundown and meta prediction where I talk about the changes coming in the patch and what I think the game's going to look like and what to, you know, what to watch out for in the patch to come. So let's begin. There's going to be some system changes. You're going to start taking a damage from Xerots and Galio. Um, that's, that's whatever. Uh, this chosen percentage is a really nice thing to add. It gives you a little clarity so you know what your odds are. It'd be nice if it showed the next level as well, but this is a good start. Um, there's there's gonna be some trait balancing. They are changing the uh, they're changing the way some of these traits. Oh, that's even worse. They're changing the way some of these traits work with their chosen. So uh, early cultist is not bad anymore. It's actually really strong. I think it's gonna be one of the strongest early games next patch. That and dazzler. Honestly, all three of these traits: cultist, dazzler, and keeper. So they're changing dazzler to um, it gives you a longer slow at two. And it also gives you AD reduction. So Dazzler is basically going to kill any AD carry, which is, uh, this is, this is too good. This is too strong. This is a, this is a huge over buff and I don't think it's necessary, but, um, the, the keeper chosen is going to be really nice. It's going to give you a strong early game. If you get that online, they are buffing sharpshooters at two and they are nerfing sharpshooters at six overall. I think sharps are still going to be really strong. They are nerfing Ninja 4, they're taking away 10 AP, 10 AD, and they are also nerfing Akali later on in the um, in the notes. So I think this is a pretty, it's not a huge hit to Ninjas, but it is like, it is kind of sizable for a comp that's not like all that crazy good. Um, there's going to be some balance to one, to one cost champs. They're changing Fiora's chosen stats from HP to... Uh, there to uh, like mana reduction, which I think is a huge buff overall, especially if you're running like Enlighten. Fiora is already like pretty good, but her chosen stat doesn't make a ton of sense. So I think this way she's gonna be uh, she's gonna be really nice. She's gonna scale well into the mid game, and she's gonna be a really good tank. Um, they're changing Lissandra to target highest AD enemy spell. <laughs> to change to target the highest AD enemy. Anyways, uh, I think Lissandra is gonna be probably one of the best early game units next patch, combined with Dazzler. So that shit's probably gonna get nerfed, and that's probably that shit's probably gonna get hot fixed, honestly. Uh, so probably abuse this while you can. They're changing Vayne. They're buffing her a little bit more damage. Uh, dude, honestly, Vayne pops off sometimes. So I'm curious to see how well she performs with these changes. Uh, two costs. They are buffing Vi at three star from 600 to 800 spell damage. They are uh, increasing the armor shred reduction, and they are changing her chosen stat from HP to mana reduction. What this does is it makes her not as tanky, but it does make her cast a lot. And I don't know if you guys have ever had Vi 3, like in the Warlord comp, but she slaps. And I imagine Vi is going to be like a crazy good carry in Warlords now. So if you're playing Warlords and you're going for that cat 3, definitely try to pick up the Vi's. Dude, this is a lot of damage. That's a lot. It's also going to help Ash comps because you do get that 8 second armor shred instead of 6. 3 costs. They are nerfing Akali. She is going to take longer to cast with that blue buff. Wait, is this going to be 2 auto attacks instead of 1? It actually might be 2 autos now. Oof. Oh man. Uh, yeah, I'm curious to see how this plays out. This champ might not be so hot anymore. They are buffing Evelyn 3. Yeah, sure. I don't think this is really a change at all. It's whatever. They're buffing Nunu 3. Okay, he's actually he's actually gonna gobble everybody up. Like, he's already pretty good. He just he just one shots everyone now. Like always. Okay, RE nerfs. Everyone's been waiting for this one, I think. They nerfed RE1. They nerfed RE2. 75 damage is a decent chunk. 25. Um This should be enough to wear. Like the thing about Ari is, is like if she one shots, she's good. If she doesn't, she's trash. So hopefully this is like, this doesn't put her into trash tier. I think she still should be okay. We'll see how the meta plays out. She should still be fine, but not as crazy. Hopefully Mystic works against it now. They fixed the bug with Ash where they fixed uh, where she can actually crit on her flurry. So IE isn't going to be a joke item on her anymore. That's good. They change Morgana to instead of just targeting a random enemy, it's, it chooses it chooses two, and then whichever one has more units around it, it ults that one. So you're usually gonna get much better ultis now. So more, dude. Honestly, this is a crazy big Morg buff. Like it's gonna be so rare for her to ult like one unit in the corner. Now it's gonna ult like a big clump always. Um, we might see we might see Morgana nerfs. Honestly, this this season this season is probably gonna be OP. 
Uh, that combined with the Dazzler buffs, bro, Dazzler is going to be so broken. It's going to be so broken. They are buffing Ezreal. He's going to ult, he's going to ult two autos faster. So, you know, 60 mana, that's not hard to get. This, this thing is pretty good now. Lee Sin. Okay, honestly, I think this is a huge nerf. I feel like, like, RFC isn't going to be good on him anymore. Because, like, right now, if you have RFC Lee Sin... He already, like, he already needs to be, like, two-starred to, like, actually auto, like, lock someone up with the blue buff. But now it's, like, that doesn't even work. So, you, you just need to, like, you can't even build RFC on him anymore. He should still be good. This CC is still good. They buffed the, um, they buffed the secondary stun duration, which is nice. So, we'll see how this champion plays out. He should still be pretty good, though. But not, like, as crazy powerful as he was. They're changing sets, um... Chosen stat from HP to spell power, and they are buffing him at one and two stars. Honestly, that's not really Seth's problem. Seth's problem is like his crazy high mana and the fact that it gets canceled every other ability. But I mean, he's gonna hit harder. Like he's actually gonna kill everything when he like when he does ult. If, he, if he's two star, he's actually gonna kill everything. So we'll see how that plays out. And they changed Lilia's sleep threshold to two star to be a little lower, so you'll be able to pop that a little better. Um, there's some item changes. They are changing Ludens from CC and shielded targets just to CC targets, and then Static Shiv is going to be that shield counter. Uh, overall, items about the same. They're buffing Death Cap. They're buffing Death Cap to uh, give 5% additional spell power. Honestly, it's just like not that great because it's raw stats. Like when you compare it to like Jeweled Gauntlet or Chalice, it's just not as good. Like the, the other items just give you a lot more. Um, this one's kind of interesting for AD comps. Runons has never really been a great item, but doing 100% of your AD is like it's pretty sizable actually. Like that's and it can crit. This is like a this is a big DPS boost. Like when you think of a just a raw item, like Death Cap gives 45 AP. This basically gives you 100. You know, like it doesn't scale with your abilities or anything, but it's like like just raw stats. This item should be pretty good. Uh, you probably won't feel bad about making anymore. So we'll see how this plays out. Um, they are changing Shiv to do a little more base and more true damage to shields. 240. That is a crazy amount of shield damage. Um, if we start seeing a bunch of keepers and lockets, it should be good into it. Uh, they're nerfing Zeke's by 5% attack speed. Uh, item feels too strong. This is probably a good mark. I'm surprised we don't see any chalice changes. I feel like that, that needs to happen as well. They're nerfing zero time by one duration. Hopefully this doesn't mean your units just like walking around in circles have to fight because that's a little frustrating. And then there's some bug fixes. Divine's damage reduction no longer reduce true damage. Fine. Nuni can no longer eat set before he does his workout. <laughs> that's pretty good. Fix the bug where static ship could target valid champions. Nice. That's good. Fix the bug with zero contract at 10 more AD. Oh, two zero nerfs. Fix a bug where you could get the zero portal tom by equipping it mid-combat. Okay. Exile will no longer fail to create their shield on place next to Galio summon. Nice. That's a good one. They're finally getting rid of the Galio nurse. Okay. Talon will now, will now run through the attack flow when attacking with the spells to trigger Rage Blade, Shiv, etc. Okay. Well, okay. That's fine. Now you can just put like random garbage on him and like not feel bad. Taunts will no longer persist if the target, if the taunter becomes untargetable. Okay, so like if it gets Zephyr, your units won't try to attack it. That's nice. All right. Um, well, that's a patch rundown. I'm going to talk about uh, what I think the meta is going to look like. Honestly, I'm not really too sure how it's going to play out. Uh, I have some direction here. Like right now, I think these are the good comps right now in this order. I'm not sure what the comps are going to look like necessarily next order. What I do know is I think the Dazzler is going to be broken. I think Lissandra is going to be broken. This is going to be like this champion is insane. It's eight seconds. Your team is perma slowed by 50%, or like the ones that do damage, and your AD is reduced by 80%. Like you literally can't auto attack. And when you do, it's like it's like it's like it's like a paper towel. Just it's like a paper towel, like like that. You know? Anyways. Also, it's gonna target the highest base AD, so like I don't even know how that's gonna work if it's on the back line. Is it just gonna blow up your whole entire team? It's probably still gonna hit. And then spread. But like, damn. Lissandra's going to be broken. Um, the, the Cultist Keeper, or the Cultist Chosen is going to be really strong. It's already like, okay. But it should be really strong next patch. 
Um, I think Sharps are still going to be insane. I think Enlightened. I think Enlightened got a bunch of buffs here. And the Morgana changes uh, coupled with the Dazzler changes means this comp is going to be insane. You don't even need Talon, probably. Like, I would just run Enlightened Morgana with, like, Mystics. Like, instead of uh, Ari Vanguards, you run, like, Morgana Vanguards. And honestly, I'm pretty sure that shit's going to be OP. We'll see. We'll see, but it sounds pretty good. Ash. Okay, so the fact that Ash got bug fixed with the crit is really good. Also, there's like there's like new new changes, which is good. Um, Runons is nice on her. Uh, the comp didn't get too many hits here, so overall, Ash should be really nice. Uh, the, honestly, the crit is a big one. But um, the fact that Dazzler is is as strong as it is, I'm not even sure. Like, I feel like I feel like da I feel like Dazzler is gonna be just overly oppressive in this upcoming patch and let's say nerf it before the patch hits i think this is too strong um i think any ad carry is gonna have a really bad time against dazzle like qss is 100 required on your ad carry um in this upcoming patch and once that wears off your team doesn't do any physical damage anymore so that's gonna be a pretty big concern because once people like people just run Lissandra Lux and then eventually they just get Morgana. And with the new Morgana changes, it actually dazzles your entire team. I think they buffed I, I think they I think giving three buffs to Dazzlers is a mistake. Considering that all of these buffs are enough to make the comp just to make the trade good on its own. Like Dazzler was already pretty decent. Um people just like kind of slept on it. But now it, it received three huge buffs and it's just too much. Uh, I'm not sure how Ari is going to be. It, it's, it stands to see. She might be like too weak to one shot. Uh, we'll see. Is she, a two star, it's like a pretty decent nerf. Four Mystics should be okay on it. We'll see. It should still be alright. Warlord. I think Warlord is going to be still good. Like it was already good. I think it's still going to be good. Overall, the comp doesn't change too much. Uh, it, it didn't receive too many changes. Vi 3 though is going to be a really nice win con. And... Um, that comp should see a pretty good amount of play. It's also like a spell powered comp with the with the Vi and with the cat, so it should be a good answer to a Dazzler. That coupled with the fact that you know you get cat in the backline and you can take out those Dazzlers. Uh, I think Warlords is gonna be uh, maybe S tier even. I think it's gonna be really good. I think Sharps are gonna be really good and Lion's gonna be really good. Dude, honestly, maybe Sharps are killed by Lissandra. Well, unless you roll over, I guess you rely on Jinx. But I think Warlord's gonna be OP. I think Enlightened's gonna be OP. Okay, not OP. I think it's, Warlord's gonna be good. I think Enlightened's gonna be good. I think Dazzler is gonna be good, just in general. And then um, you might need Mystics as well. Well, I guess we're gonna see how it plays out. This has been the patch rundown and meta prediction, and I will see you guys probably in a day or so because I have to do a uh, meta report. On Wednesday so be looking out for that be looking out to the for the new content on the YouTube I'm dropping so much and make sure you like and subscribe to the channel make sure you make sure you like so uh, you get more of these videos and I'll see you guys next time